sound familiar? Carmina Burana has appeared in countless films, TV shows, and advertisements, but there's much more to this epic piece of music than the opening chorus. In this video, discover how a once obscure medieval tome inspired Orff's popular masterpiece. I'm Calvin Dotsy, and this is the Houston Symphony's Classical Notes. On March 29, 1934, Karl Orff received a much anticipated parcel in the mail. It contained a little known book that had caught his eye in a catalog. He later recalled, On opening it, I immediately found on the front page the long famous picture of Fortune with her wheel, and under it the lines, O Fortuna, Felut Luna, Statu Variabilis. The book was a copy of the Carmina Burana an anthology of medieval poetry in Latin and vernacular languages compiled in Austria around the year 1230. According to legend, the poems were the work of the Goliards, bands of irreverent students who indulged in womanizing, drinking, gambling, and satirical verse as they wandered from university to university. Though some scholars have since questioned this attribution, the worldly themes of many poems from the Carmina Burana certainly fit with the Goliard legend. Of the hundreds of poems in the Carmina Burana, Orff selected 24 and arranged them into sections. O Fortuna, the most famous part of the piece, acts as a frame, beginning and ending the work with a chorus to Fortune, the cruel goddess who brings both pleasure and suffering. <laughs> Spring gradually awakens the earth and stirs humanity's desire for love throughout the first section, in springtime. Next comes On the Green. The young women and men of the world engage in whirling dances and playful flirtations. The joyful atmosphere acquires a darker edge for In the Tavern, in which the baritone soloist declares, My soul is dead, so I shall look after the flesh. The tenor then impersonates a swan roasting on the fire. A humorous drinking song for the men's chorus concludes the adventure, declaring, the stupid man drinks, the wise man drinks, the sister drinks, the brother drinks, this man drinks, that man drinks, a hundred drink, a thousand drink. Next, we move to the court of love. The soprano and baritone soloists assume the roles of young lovers who begin apart but are drawn together with each song. In addition to the chorus of women and men, a Cupid-like children's chorus provides encouragement. At last, the soprano gives in to the baritone's entreaties with a climactic high note. The chorus celebrates with Blanzifor at Helena, a hymn in praise of Venus. But the rejoicing ends with a reprise of O Fortuna, reminding us of the fleetingness of life's pleasures. This video features an archival Houston Symphony recording with conductor Yaniv Dinur, soprano Laura Claycomb, tenor Matthew Grills, baritone Reginald Smith Jr., and the Houston Symphony Chorus under the direction of Betsy Cook Weber. You can hear Carmina Burana and more great orchestral music broadcast each week by Houston Public Media. Thank you for watching and enjoy the music.